What's going on, everybody? This is Island Hopper TV coming to you from Florence, Italy. This is Firenze, right in front of Duomo Fiore. People are all the way at the top of Duomo, which is the cathedral. We are going to show you all around Florence today. The sights and sounds of this magical Italian city. It is a Disneyland for historians. If you knew who came from here, everything from Da Vinci, Michelangelo, Galileo Galilei, Florence Nightingale, Dante's Inferno was from here. This was the home of the Italian Renaissance that basically pulled all of Europe out of the Dark Ages. So we're gonna go around Florence show you the statue of David by Michelangelo, get some vantage points from up above. Tell you some quick facts about Florence, so before we get too much further into this. About 500,000 people live in the city, but if you include the metro area, it's around 1.5 million. It is the capital and the largest city of the famous region of Tuscany. This is 11 o'clock in the morning on a Monday. Florence gets a lot of people. It is a very crowded place. This city, it's not too far the distance to walk from the main uh, destinations and attractions because Florence is actually a city built for walking and for people, not for cars, to get around. So a lot of it is condensed. You can do it all in 48 hours if you're in a time crunch, but you could spend a week here if you really want it. Get a horse to take you around. <clears throat> well, it's only 11 in the morning and it's just jamming right now. On a Monday, this is how it was yesterday on a Sunday. I thought it would be a little bit more calm. Look at all the people here. Let's go to this side. The Duomo real quick. I mean, check out this side of the Duomo. Holy moly. Wow. Looks like people are going inside. I don't know how you get inside there. Especially with the crowds. Now we are coming up to the Plaza de Repubblica. You know, one of the cool things about Florence is so much of it is free. I mean, all the sites really that you need to see, for the most part, you can see them from outside without paying anything. All it's going to cost you is some uh, shoes, because you're going to need some walking shoes for that. Or if you wanted to go up the hills with the uh, taxis, I suppose, that could cost you something. Got another street vendor show going on. Banging and pounding drums. Buckets. Buckets and drums really what I would consider to be one of the main central points of the whole city. We got a guy pounding buckets and drums.
give this guy a tip. And the statue you'll see here is going to be the statue of David with Goliath's head in his hand. So this is the Palacio Vecchio. You'll be like, what the heck is he holding the head for? Well, that's Goliath. But this is part of that Italian Renaissance that happened where Europe basically decided that it didn't want to be a theism and it wanted to be more of an art based humanism celebrating humanity so they actually have no clothes on these statues there's David you know Michelangelo but this is the Palazzo Vecchio Museum let's go in here Museum of Plaza de Vecchio. Let's go take a good close look at this. Uh, say we now head over to <laughs> Ponte de Vecchio. It's crazy. I said head over as David's holding Goliath's head in his hand, cutting it off. It was a piece of art that inspired people to do the unthinkable, you know, defeat the giant, overcoming all odds. Nicola Pisano. You guys know Nicola Machiavelli too. Get your portrait drawn here in Florence. Alright guys, we have arrived at the Arno River. This goes all the way to Pisa. So this would be a good time for me to give you some facts about Florence as we're coming up to Ponte Vecchio. Ponte Vecchio is a place where you can do some shopping on that bridge. So Ponte Vecchio actually means old bridge. It dates all the way back to 945 AD. The current design that it has now took shape in 1345. They did some renovations in 1966, but this is pretty much the old bridge. It's also the main city in the region of Tuscany. Tuscany being famous for many things, including grapes and wine, as you guys know. When you come here, get you a nice glass of Chianti. All right, we've arrived at Ponte Vecchio. At sunset, this place is just packed. Get some jewelry, Copante and Company. See a gold necklace or a gold coin from here. That'd be nice. Oh my gosh, what is that? Euro. Otherwise, I could have smaller. 
So we get this coin here on the Ponte Vecchio. Good price, good price. Look at the views. Why not? What better place to buy a gold coin? Maestro Salini. Carlo Pacini. What do you guys say we go get a really good view of the city? It's gonna take some walking though. Walking, walking, walking. That's what you like to do when you come to Frenzy, Florence, Italy. So busy. Super nice, but super busy. Yeah, Palazzo Pitti. You guys come here, hopefully you like uh, crowds. <laughs> this is where the, uh, another palace is, that you can go inside. Giotta Leather. Here we are at Palazzo Pitti. Pitti. A nice area here to just bask in the sun, especially at sunset. This area right here gets a lot of people literally just basking in the sun. So we are on the south side of the Arno River at this point. We started out on the north side. It's actually closed, although people are going in there, so I don't know what's going on. But you'll have to come check it out for yourself. The gardens at Palacio Pitti. I'll go to some gardens, don't worry. We're actually on our way. Even though we're not gonna get this one, we'll get we'll get one later. We have made it up to the top of the hill here, where the Michelangelo statue is. Now we've just gotta figure out how to get up there. Alright guys, we have made it to Piazzelli Michelangelo. Let's go up here and see what the views look like, huh? A bit of a huck to get up here. It's a long walk going up the hill, but if you take a taxi, that'll save you some of the agony. All right, Fuseli Michelangelo. Get a good leg workout here. So we have a cemetery here. All right. I think we 
we've made it to the top. But I learned never to assume that here in Florence. Just when you think you get to the top, you have another bit of stairs to climb. We got church bells going off everywhere. Birds singing, church bells going. I think that's the Duomo making the sound down the hill. One behind me is over there where the cemetery is. There's the statue of David. Wait till you see these views. All right, there's the statue. David by Michelangelo. So check out these views here. Amazing Tuscany, Florence. See all the cathedrals and steeples and everything from up here. It's like a bird's eye view. Get you guys the views. We are up here at this garden. Very nice garden. Look at the view. Wait until you see these views. You've already kind of seen them. Right. Now we'll head back down the hill. Is this the Rose Garden? Rari Giordano del Rosé. Looks like it's a Rose Garden. And here's the actual rose garden. No roses yet. We'll go through a little we'll walk through there. All right. We're at the rose garden. View. This is great. This is amazing. Man, we're just a little bit early for the roses. You can see the buds coming. Just a little early. Maybe in 
one week the roses will be blooming and this place will just light up you see a little snow on the mountains back there what do we got here two different paths and this takes you to the road it's the name of the garden. The garden with the best view in Florence is Porco Bardini. Instagram, we have a very nice profile. Oh, yeah, it's Palazzo Tempo. Some focaccia. Big boy fish. All right. All right, now we go back across the Ponte Vecchio. But once you get into the sun, it's pleasant. It's just, there's a wind chill factor here. In the wind, it's very unique. It's a bit congested up here. The exhibition of the dolly. And another famous person from here, Niccolo Machiavelli. So, Amerigo Vespucci is who they say America is named after. Wow, so we are in the Galileo Museum. So, this is an astrological clock. You can see Galileo. Oh, well, we're going to the top here. Second floor. So this Galileo Museum is right on the Arno River. It cost 11 euros and you get to see how they discovered the time system that we currently use with the calendar. It's a mirror. That's wild. All right, so I'm getting a uh, leather jacket. I've been in market for one. I'm getting it from Giorgio Ferenzi Leather Factory since 1966. Michele Fontani, nice to meet you. Thank you. He's gonna tailor it for me also, free of charge. And the lining inside, pockets here, another pocket. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a... Uh, so we're going to get a leather jacket from Giorgio Ferenzi Leather Factory. By Michele Fontani. This is my family business since 1966. And I'm the second generation here. My grandfather, my father, and this is me. All authentic, handmade, real leather, made in Italy. Can you show us some of the products? The soft, soft lambskin. So this is lamb. Lamb, soft lamb skin, wonderful made. 
looked at the lining, the finishing, everything local, 100% local Florentine. So this is authentic lambskin. Made in Florence. Made in Florence, Italy. beautiful. Nice. And where are you located? Allora, we are in Via, near the famous Antico Vinaio, in Via di Neri, Loggia del Grano, on the corner with Via di Neri, in the heart of Florence. So look. Galileo Museum? Yeah, Uffizi, Fonti Vecchio, Palazzo Vecchio, Piazza Signoria, and the Piazza Domo. You are in the heart of the city. Grazie. Nice to meet you. So we're getting two handbags here. 45 euros each. Yeah, so I was looking to get a leather jacket in the United States, but fortunately I got to come to Italy where they make the best leather jackets. Uh, great quality. I'm very happy about this. And it's really soft, comfortable. I'm excited to wear this when I get home. Uh, it's coming into summer, but I'll have to wait till next winter. We actually tailored the sleeves to the perfect length. So when you come to Italy, my favorite place to do the shopping is Florence. Milan is good though, but Florence, I think, is the real authentic place to do the shopping. All right, here we are at the Basilica dei Frenzi. This is a Franciscan place of worship. Nice square they've got here. And man, the weather is beautiful now. It's actually kind of hot. After a little bit of a brisk, chilly, windy morning, it's warmed up nicely. Wow, dragonfly, what do you guys say we get a beer? That's what they got? Let's take a look. What do you guys say we go get some food? I stopped in to get some food here. At Palazzo Antonori. It's like a wine area right next to Hotel de Villa and a beautiful cathedral. At the Mercado Centrale. Let's see if we can get in here if it's open. All right, well, we ended up getting one of these bags. You can see lots of nice bags. Okay. It looks good. It says it's real Italian leather. Yes. It's a general leather, brother. Not... Well, new bag. <laughs> Alright, let's go inside the central market here and see what it looks like. Are they open or closed? What the heck? Alright, we are in the central market. They usually have two levels to this place. So we are on the second level. I don't know what's going on in the first level. Is closed? Yeah. It's a popular place to go when you're here. But it's usually two levels. Oh wow. Get some food. So I saw a guy who was pretty enthusiastic about eating this food and I looked at it and I was like, hey, that looks kind of good. So I decided to order that also. I didn't realize what it was until uh, I got the translator out and I found out it was cow stomach. 
Now, that's my first time ever eating cow stomach, and I figured since I was in Italy, you know, when in Rome, do as Romans do, I guess you could say, I decided to eat it. But this is him prepping it, and I had a little bit of it, uh, maybe about half, and I decided to save my appetite. Uh, but it was something new for me, you know? So it is actually cow stomach. That's what we're looking at here, cow stomach. Never had this before. It's pistachio. Okay. It's pistachio ice cream. They have some unique cuisines in here. Let's just say that. So it is actually cow stomach. That's what we're looking at here, cow stomach. Never had this before. So in this area, they have a few museums, including Donatello. Musica. Pietro Grossi. And then they also have the museum where they have the Galleria Academia, which is where the actual uh, statue for Michelangelo is of King David, which is actually right here at Academia. So, let's see if we can get there. Is it open? 12 euro. All right, we are in the Academia. They got some original art pieces in here. It's 12 euros to get in. Okay. And here we are where the original Michelangelo is. This is a look at how they would actually carve it. Wow, look at that. the original statue of David. Is that the original? Holy moly. You can see his hand is so big. Here is the museum for Medici, Medici family. Let's see, are they open? How much is this one gonna cost? Because right around here is also a Da Vinci museum. Let's see here, is it open? a little bit more unique. The Museum of the Medici, it is nine dollars. It's closed though. 
So they have street doing vintage couture. For those of you who are into antique shopping, Curioso Menti. It's a nice bookstore. Oh man. So here's the Leonardo da Vinci Museum right here. for this one. By the way, there is two museums here for Da Vinci. But this one is eight euros. I had to buy a mask. Apparently I've lost my mask. Wow, Da Vinci Museum, huh? Look at them. Wow. Lots of mechanics here at the Da Vinci Museum. So this is an interesting contraption. Wow. Here's the, the back side of this thing. What in the world is this? Okay. Drawing this painting course. Oh my god, what is that? And why do you want to be who it is? And exactly what he's wearing. It's one of the first things we have in Leonardo. Leonardo makes the famous one. A fashion thing. The workshop. Got a, another cathedral here. This one's not Duomo, but it looks like it. It's very close. This one is Fiore. I'm sorry, this is the Basilica San Lorenzo.
arrived. We are arriving at Santa Maria Novello. So, Santa Maria Novello right here. It's actually right next to the train station. And you can see they have like a little market set up right here. This is really close to Centrale. A couple of hotels you can get right here. Hotel Roma. And then they have Gelato. Grand Hotel Minerva. This is really a popular place uh, for markets and just kind of hanging out casually. All right guys, from the Independence Plaza here, this is where we're going to wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the likes, subscribe to this channel, and watch some more of these other videos.